To discuss the atmosphere on the ground as the second round presidential elections continue in Chile, we now welcome our special correspondent, Carlos Montero. Carlos, what can you tell us about the events there as the Chileans continue to take to the polls and cast their ballots for the next president? So far, no problems reported. There were only small uh, circumstances, but no, nothing, nothing big. I'm key the situation. I am right now, I'm sorry for my neighbor, but you can hear, I guess he's one from of the two parties. What I'm saying is that I'm a few blocks away where the place that the winner tonight, the, all the followers are going to celebrate. It's called Plaza Italia. That's the place that Chileans get together to celebrate maybe it's for tournament or a politician or a presidential election also. This place, it was the place where in 2019, there were a lot of protests against the government, against the president, Sebastián Piñera, against the system. In those protests, the one who got very popular is the candidate that's trying to get the president today, uh, Gabriel uh, Boric. Gabriel Boric, he said he's going to accept the results if he loses, but he said he's not going to lose look to lose. On the other hand, we have the, the candidate from the stream right, Jose Antonio Cas, he said the election is going to be close. It's going to be so close that more probably we are not going to know the winner tonight. We are going to have to wait for a few weeks. We are going to see what happened. But on the street, you know, besides the problem with the transportation that a lot of people are asking the transportation minister to resign because he said it's not acceptable. The government said they are exaggerating, it's not such a big problem, but the reality, we were on the street talking to different people and the buses were really slow. No, many, there were not a lot of frequency and we saw a lot of buses parking in a place today because it's an election day, the buses should be free. And what the government said, it's not the fault that we don't have enough buses on the street, is the fault of the owner of the bus companies that because they are not making enough money because the, the transportation is free, they don't want to take the bus out. But that's something we are going to see what's happening and the investigation is going to come from that. But the big question is going to be in a few hours, hopefully we are going to know who is going to be the president elect in Chile and hopefully here, very close to us, we are going to have a peaceful celebration People are really bit scared. People don't know what's going to happen because there were so many friction before today between the followers of Cas, followers of Boric. But so far today, it was nothing important to report about confrontation, verbal maybe confrontation, but not physical. So at least hope that today, at the end of the day, six o'clock are going to close the polls. Seven o'clock, we are going to have the first report about the election's result, and hopefully by eight o'clock, we can know who is the president-elect of Chile. We are going to keep informed about what's going, to, what's going on in those historical elections in Chile. Going back to you. Carlos, thank you for joining us once again and for offering that update. And just a few hours to go when we 